Hey everyone, Mike from MyTechie here, here to talk to you about the 10 best free Mac applications. And I'm sorry if I cut this video a little short in the sense of speaking quickly. I keep running over the time limit of 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and try to nail this out as fast as I can. If you have any further questions about the applications, please leave comments or message me. I'm more than happy to go ahead and go over them with you. Firefox, of course, will top the number one all the time for Mac because it's the most versatile browser that's out there. So many plugins. If you don't already have the plugins as follows, I'm going to go ahead and list them out in the sidebar as well as I'll go ahead and tell you verbally here. You're going to have all in one sidebar, Web Developer, uh, Measure It, and Firebug. Especially if you're a developer, these programs will, or add ons will definitely help you. And for the standard person watching this video right now, this might be a little bit more over your head because it is a, more of a, aimed toward administrative as well as towards the ne the networking professionals or the web developers. However, there's a couple applications in here that are aimed towards you as well. So keep in mind, keep watching. They're all free. Download them anyways, right? So on RARX, if you come from the Windows world, you're going to notice that people have used WinRAR for years. It's one of the best compression formats that are out there. However, there's no native program that I know that you can go ahead and RAR things with, but you can unrar things with unrar X. It earns the number two spot in the countdown here. Unrar X, you can definitely go ahead and unrar anything you want. So here's a picture, here's a RAR file of my dog. I'm just going to go ahead and unrar that by double clicking on it. You can see right in the same directory it creates the RAR file. It creates a log for you with the log name. If you want to save that log off, you can. I'm just going to close that. And you can see that it unrarred that RAR file for me. RAR just being the archive. Going up to uh, the number three spot, Burn. Burn is a great application. If you haven't already have it, or if you don't already have it, you should definitely go get it. It uh, allows you to burn ISO images, more like a Roxio Toast kind of replacement. However, Roxio Toast can do a lot of neat things that burn can't do. Burn is strictly what it tells you it can do. It can burn things. So it can burn, like I said, images. It can burn video, VCD, SVCD, DVD, video, or DivX. It can burn audio discs, so MP3 audio disc, or just the standard audio disc, or even the DVD audio disc. It can also burn data disc, HFS, PC, or only Mac, or Universal or DVD UDF. And it can even go to advanced options where you can burn stuff that's only for like Linux or something of that nature. So if you don't already have burn, go get it. Cord. Cord is great if you're coming from the Windows world. Windows world, uh, you're always doing remote desktops as administrator, and you've used like remote desktop managers out there. Uh, there's a couple other ones that are for Mac, like PCO, which is um, I think PC Organizer or something like that. And there's like RDP uh, Organizer. There's a couple of different ones out there. They are paid for applications, in my opinion. They don't compete to Cord. Cord. I'll just go ahead and launch it real fast. You can see that SFG is one of my clients. I've removed all my other clients here because of NDA agreements. Uh, SFG doesn't have an NDA agreement with me, so uh, I'll just go ahead and show you. I pop it open. You can see I lo it logs in for me. I can set even more preferences if I want to join the audio or if I want to go ahead and mount a certain disk so I can transfer files back and forth without having to use like an FTP protocol. Uh, so it's a great application. If you don't already have it, go get Cord if you're an, if you're an administrator anyways. So next application on the list is MacFusion. MacFusion is a great application if you're a project manager for websites or if you're a web developer yourself. If you're working in conjointment with one or more developers and you don't want to keep overriding each other's code and you're working kind of like in a sandbox environment on live, you definitely want to go ahead and um, use MacFusion. It'll basically be able to mount your website locally and allow you to edit it. Now, if you're all using MacFusion at once, it's even better because at that point in time, let's say you're editing a file, it will not let someone else edit that file at the same time. It'll let that person know, hey, someone's already in this file. Please choose a different file or wait till this person has closed out. Great application. Um, it'll mount your disk drives right here on the side, like I said, as a regular local hard drive. So if you don't already have MacFusion and you're a web developer, Go ahead and try it out. It's free. It's it's a great thing to play around with. I believe it has a couple little bugs within Snow Leopard. Uh, there's a huge tracker form on it. It's a huge what uh, huge open source project. So definitely go ahead and check it out. App Cleaner uh, does its job exactly what it says. Uh, number six, it it probably can definitely go ahead and clean anything that you have as a personal user. Um, you know, as a you know, administrator, you want your computer to be clean at all times. And you definitely want things to be deleted in the proper format. When dragging an application from the application's uh, directory into the trash can, it does not always delete everything because applications tend to leave com files and preference files behind. Uh, and this can, you know, amount up to certain 
you know, even megs and sometimes gigs, depending on what kind of preferencing you're using, because it also uses conjointment files. So definitely use App Cleaner if you uh, want a free application. If you want a little bit better of application, use Hazel. It's not a free application, it, but it's like only 25 bucks or something like that. You can go, a company called NoodleSoft creates it. And again, it's called Hazel, H-A-Z-E-L. And you can just type in Hazel for Mac on Google and you'll be able to pull it up, not a problem. Make MKV number seven, probably one of the best applications out there. You might have heard of Handbrake, a couple other ones that people like, hey, DVD to disc and all this other stuff. It does not, Handbrake, uh, latest thing, does not support the latest codex of Blu-ray. It does not support the latest codex of the DVD for Canadian and French. Uh, so Handbrake does have its flaws, does have its good points. However, I believe M Make MKV is going to be the number one leader in the backing up of DVD disc and Blu-ray disc and personally for the next couple of years to come. MKV, if you don't already know, is the newest format that's coming out called Matroska. Uh, it's for basically having a great video container allowing you to stream over the net, allowing you to add in subtitles, load in subtitles dynamically. Uh, tons of tons of new features that are coming into that video con container, all based on the EBML, accessible beta, uh, binary meta language. So if you don't already know about MakeMKV, I have a full-fledged video about it within my within my video section so you can definitely go ahead and look at that it'll help you out definitely earns the number seven spot on the countdown here number eight Picasa if you use Google Apps definitely go ahead and use this program because it'll it's like iPhoto so if you use iPhoto and you don't use Google Apps okay then just use iPhoto but if you use Google Apps I mean look at this I mean it's, look how fast it is it's just running through all these images and I can even add more images it'll still run through them it allows you to have an extensible uh, SDK and an API so you can develop for it. There's tons of plugins for Facebook, MySpace to upload your fi files. Uh, if you don't already have Picasa, it definitely earns the number eight count on the countdown. Definitely download it to manage all your files uh, if you don't already use iPhoto. So, number nine, ADM. ADM is probably one of the best chat applications for the Mac. It came out uh, many years ago and, and it's been headstrong. It even came out in the PPC days if I remember correctly back when Macs weren't even in Intel days. So uh, definitely if you don't have ADM, grab it. It supports multiple chat protocols such as you know Facebook, MySpace, Google Chat, AOL Instant Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, MSN Messenger, Bonjour, Google Talk. So if you don't already have ADM, definitely get it. It's free. It's a great application. Definitely earns number nine. Number ten on the countdown is Skype, industry leader in video conferencing and video chatting. It will always be the industry leader, always, because it works extremely hard to keep that parallel syncing involved. And there's a new application coming out called Zephyr, which I'm not going to say is going to compete with Skype uh, for maybe the first two, one to two years, but Skype is definitely a great application in keeping that parallel syncing. It'll degrade your video quality just to keep that syncing in order so if you don't already have Skype definitely go get it sign up for an account um, and also let's say for example you want a mobile phone and you just want to have a phone on your computer with the internet 30 bucks for the year unlimited calls within the US to cell phones and to landlines as well as limited calls to Canada and Puerto Rico for 30 bucks a year you can't beat that if you have a laptop or a netbook you already have a mic built in and you got speakers uh, sometimes, depending on your mic and how close it is, you, you might want to use a headset. Other than that, great application and definitely a, one of the leaders in, in the voice communication and video communication out, that's out there right now. So again, this is Mike from iTechie covering the test, 10 best top free applications for the Mac. If you have any more questions, leave comments or leave me a message. I'll be more than happy to reply to you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to, the, to my video feed and to my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.